One of the new additional functionality in Fabric Warehouse SQL is the arrival of the truncate statement. The truncate statement is used primarily to delete all the rows from a specified table, but it doesn't delete the table itself. This simply means after we delete all the rows, we can still query the table and see the structure of the table, such as the columns, data types, indexes, and constraints if applicable. So in this episode, I'm going to show us how we can create a table, insert record into the table, and then truncate all the records in the table. Let's get started. I'm going to come to my notepad and I'm going to control A, control C to copy, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new SQL query and come to V. So basically, I'm going to have this create table named my transaction with four columns and the appropriate data types, the integer and the varchar. And of course, I'm going to insert these three records into the my transaction table. So I can go on and run this SQL query. There we go. So we have the script run, and I can go on and select star to query data from the my transaction. So let's go on, select star from my transaction, and then let's go ahead and run the query. So we have three records inserted, which is fine. Now let's go ahead and truncate all the record, the three records. So I'm going to put a semicolon here and use the truncate statement. So I'm going to provide the name of the table, which is my transaction. So I can go on and run this. Okay. And let me just move this up a little bit. There we go. So this executed in one second, four, three, five milliseconds. That's fine. So I can go back and query the table again, the select star. So go on and query that. So there we go. We don't have any records, but we can see the structure such as the name of the columns. We can see data types. So this is how we can use the truncate in the SQL of Microsoft Fabric. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.